guys, what up? Mike Gross here at RockingGuitarLessons.com and YouTube.com slash RockingGuitarLessons1. That's Protest the Hero with the song called Blood Meat. You want to tune down a half step for this. If you're not really familiar with Protest the Hero, check them out, man. They're pretty much new to me, man. I dig them. And thanks to one of my subscribers and one of the other lessons I did, I'm a fan. Good players. So two and a half step down. I'll show you the first two parts to this. Using octaves, uh, there's two guitar players, so a lot of times they're playing two separate parts, either harmonizing an octave melody or a single line scale riff or whatever. So um, let's jump into this. 13 on the A and 15 on the G. You're going to mute out the D string and try to touch that low E string to mute that out. The beat of this is kind of like when you think of YYZ from Rush. You want to kind of follow the beat of it, try to follow what the snare drum's doing on the drums, or just memorize the beat. So down, 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 up. And then one, two, three. So. And then, so. Down, up, down, 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 up. Will be the next part. Just adding an extra hit in the middle there. Hope that makes sense the way it's broken down. If not, shoot me a message in the comment and I'll clear it up. Now, the part that really kicks, man, to me that I like a lot is the next part. And it's... And they're actually harmonizing that as well. So I'm not going to show you the harmony, I'll show you the melody, which is this part. Two open E's, actually one open E. And then go ten on the A with your middle finger and nine on the A with your index. Set them both down because you're pulling off to the 9, but you're going to pick the 10th fret twice, and then pinky 12 E, so, and then it's like a little diminished riff here, 10 A, you're going to pick that, hammer on to 13 A, and pull off back to 10, so you're only picking one out of the three notes, and then 12 E, third finger, and then take that move at a step and a half back, it keeps it in the whole diminished type concept. Go to 7A, yeah, 7A, and then hammer 10, pull back to 7, and then set, um, then 9 on the E. So basically just play what you did here, uh, step and a half back. Three frets, that's what a step and a half is. Okay. Then start it back on this. That's the open E, the 10th fret A twice. Pulling off to the 9th fret, 12 E, and then this diminished part's the same. That's 10 A, you're going to pick, hammer to 13, pull to 10, 12 E, and then move that a step and a half sharp. So if we're going sharp, we're moving up this way. So that'll put you at 13 A and 16 A. So pick the 13, hammer 16, pull off 13. 15E. So. Anyways, you can take that concept, move it a step and a half up each time, you know. You know, even on a two string thing, say you're going like a, uh, or a two note thing. They actually are harmonies of each other as well, so. Protest the Hero, Blood Meat. Good band, man, I'm digging them. I'm gonna go listen to some more of them. This wasn't a request, this is just because I wanted to do it. So, uh, thanks Cameron, you created a monster with Protest the Hero. I'm Mike Gross, RockingGuitarLessons.com is my website that's coming the end of 2012. So uh, it's $25 a month to join it, and it will take your playing to the next level. It's gonna be, you know, based on all styles and all levels and everything, so I'll keep you posted. Um, I got a lot of my uh, subscribers here waiting to become members. Just hang in there, man. It's to your benefit, so I'm just trying to get enough content, you know, built up for you guys. And then youtube.com slash rockingguitarlessons1 is my YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe, guys. Once you've done that, send me your favorite song riffs, pieces, requests, all that stuff. I'll get them right for you. Get them down to the right tunings and all that. If it's a song that's piano and you love the song, 
I'll transcribe it from piano to guitar. If it's a saxophone riff, I'll take the sax riff and put it on a guitar. I love doing that stuff. So, um, anyways, I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to take off, go listen to some more Protest the Hero. Spread the word about me if you don't mind, Mike Gross, my website, and this YouTube channel. And I will talk to you guys later. See ya.